Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am answering the question I have been getting by far, and that is what embellishments should I be using and what pieces should I put it on? So we're going to get into that right now. TLDR, because I don't want to waste anyone's time if you just want to know what slot and what embellishments to use. The first embellishment I would use is precog on your boots. Boots are a very safe spot to put uh, a embellishment and then the second embellishment i would put on your ring i just started the crafting order for the ring i would put the blue silken lining on it i know that there are other options but i think blue silken lining is the best one and that's what i'm doing for this one now i'm not just going to talk about what embellishments to use i'm, I'm going to show you how to get it done so that you don't have any questions or worries at all so the first thing i would recommend you do is to find the vendor that does the crafting order so you're going to go right here in valdraken it's this little area right here and you're going to talk to this head clerk mimsy spazzle rock so you're going to click on her and you're going to have this kind of area what you're going to do is you're going to search for what items you want now i would recommend boots and ring are the two biggest pieces that you're going to want crafted so you probably want let's get the boots because that has the main stat as well as secondary stats so go to armor leather feet Okay, and right here you're gonna see what options you can craft. There's a few options you can do. You're gonna want life bound boots and you're gonna click on it. So here is how you're going to craft your boots. The first thing you're gonna need is a spark. Now a spark, you can use spark of ingenuity or a spark of shadow flame. If you want the higher, higher, higher item level, you need spark of shadow flame, which is from the newest zone in these uh, the new caverns right here, the Zerala caverns right here. There's a weekly quest in Loam. You get it done. The first time you do the campaign, you're going to get a full Shadow Flame Spark. The second time, and every other week, you're going to get a half of a Spark. So once you get your first full Spark, the next week, you're going to get half of a Spark. And then the week after that, you're going to get the second half, and you combine it. So you're going to basically, you get a Spark every two weeks. Now, there's also these optional regions that, you're gonna, that you need to pay attention to. PvP item level has its own little section, and you could buy pieces from the pvp vendor that scale up a certain piece of gear to 450 it costs conquest but it scales up the crafted piece to 450 i'm level in arena i'll show you where to buy that and i'll show you how to use it i'm just going to show you just how this works right now the second one is the embellishment so if you want to see all the embellishments you can use and put on a piece of gear and mess around with it by all means go to the, these just hover over these and you could see which you know what everything is i will be putting the white what is it blue silken lining on a ring uh in this video but uh if you're gonna put it on boots i would recommend you know precog is really good so what you're gonna want is you're gonna want the statuette of foreseen power uh, embellishment to put on the boots and then finally oh hello and then finally we have secondary stats so you want to put stats you don't want it to be random you could, you could try to get lucky, or you could just spend like 400 gold and pick the missive that you want. Um, I go with the, you, if you're running haste verse, you can use draconic missive of, of the Aurora. If you want verse mastery, you can do draconic missive of the harmonious. Like I said, I'm gonna make the ring in this video. So I'm gonna track the recipe for signet of titanic insight. And you're gonna run over to the auction house and buy whatever mats that you need. You just search for the mats. This is auction that I'm using. Um, I don't know if rank, the rank three, the item level that's crafted that doesn't matter so you could because you're going to scale the 450 in pvp anyway so you're going to buy the mats either way elemental harmony i only need one of them so we're going to buy one and then i need a yes emerald which i just need one of as well so we're going to buy that also do not forget that you need to buy the missive so missive of the and then you pick it up i think it's harmonious for verse mastery um but i think i'm going to put this on a haste verse ring so i think it's aurora yeah haste verse right here right, let's buy this boom got it and don't forget the embellishment. So for the mastery, you want blue silken lining. For precog, you want force. I think it's foreseen. Yeah, right here. Statuette of foreseen power. Um, either one works. I guess rank three is the cheapest one right now, which is really nice. So now we have all of the mats that we need and we have the stats that we want. Now you're gonna want to, before you go to the crafting vendor, you're gonna want to buy the conquest item that scales it to 450 because right now um with the spark it's only going to be like 424 item level if you have the item but you want it 450 in pvp so you're going to come to this vendor right here i'll mark it with the skull it's a conquest vendor and you're going to look at which one you need for whatever piece of gear you're crafting i'm making the ring so i need the lesser trophy of conquest so this is going to make it so if i use a neck back wrist or finger slot it's going to scale up to 450 and now that we have everything that we need we have the mats we have the embellishment we have the stats that we want you're going to go back to the vendor here 
and you're gonna click on her. And now you can either start a recrafting order for if you already have the piece, or you could start a new one. I'm just gonna start a new one because for some reason it gives me trouble when I try to recraft. I'm gonna go to ring or finger, click on the signet of titanic strength, and this is kind of where it's all at. So spark, you're gonna use the spark of shadow flame, which is the newest newest spark that you want. You're going to get use your missive for the stats, so it's gonna be haste verse. You're gonna want actually you don't need any of these because you have the lesser trophy of conquest if you're using a ring, and you're gonna use the other one if you're using the uh, boots, and then you're gonna put the blue token lining on it. So this right here, it doesn't matter what it's crafted at because it's gonna scale to 450 in PvP with the lesser trophy of conquest. So that that's the most important thing. And then you're gonna go here. Now the the final part is you need to find somebody that does it. Um, I do have somebody. I would not. I mean, you could make a public order for it because it doesn't matter in PvP. I have a guildy that is a jewel crafter. Jewel crafter for ring, leather working for boots, and I just have somebody that uh, in my guild that makes it. So I normally tip like two thousand gold. I, I I try to make the crafters happy. So and it automatically the cool thing is it automatically crafts with a socket, which is insane. So that's really really good. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this. And then you're gonna click place order. You're gonna you're gonna place order. Boom, and it's gonna show up there. And you just have to wait for the crafter to make it. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. I know that crafting orders can be a little bit confusing. I had Harambe walk me through it in a Discord call for like 20 minutes. So I was very confused when I first started. But again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.